What's going on everybody, Kwaku here, back with another video. Today, I wanna show you guys an interesting video and that is with Samsung DeX. Because as you know, I have a Samsung phone, I have the Z Fold 3 and it supports Samsung DeX, whether it's with USB cable or wireless, there are some discrepancies in terms of latency on it. So I'm gonna see if I can figure out a way to uh, show that latency difference um, with the screen recording on the Samsung phone itself, as well as DeX on the PC. Now to get DeX, all you gotta do is you just go to Samsung's website or just Google search it, um, search for Samsung DEX, install it and boom, here it is. This is Samsung DeX right here. Um, and then the next thing you do simply if all uh, to, to simply use the thing is you simply uh, go to your Samsung phone and make sure DeX is enabled. Now this will be different on just about every Samsung phone out there, unfortunately. Um, so for me, you see the screen here that this is where Samsung DeX is available for me. Um, I enabled touch input so you guys can see where I'm touching and what I'm swiping on. Um, so all I did here for my Z Fold 3 was I simply went to settings and I just searched for Samsung DeX or just DEX right here. And then there you go. And then you see DeX is highlighted. So then I just check it off. And then you see uh, DeX on TV or monitor or DeX on PC. It's gonna be DeX on PC. I'm not showing you the monitor one. I'm looking for the PC software one. And then it's gonna search wirelessly um, for my a machine on my local network that has DeX on it and ready to go, which my PC is in fact right here. So I'm gonna press that right there. It says start sharing. I'm gonna hit start now and then give it a second and it should pop up on my PC uh, after it finishes connecting to it. Um, it takes a little bit of seconds, but I'll fast forward through it all. So I had a problem here where for some reason it would not actually uh, let me use the wireless decks even though my PC shows up. So in fact, I'm gonna record it all. I'm not gonna edit this part out and I'm going to just plug it in with the USB type C cable that I just bought or just with the one that came with your phone. Um, just connect it. It doesn't have to be USB um, C to C. It can be C to A or whatever it is. And then it's gonna then allow me to say, do I wanna start DeX? And I'm gonna hit start now, allow phone access data. And I'm gonna say, okay. Then you see on my PC right here, boom, Samsung DeX is ready to go. It says DeX automatically started because the cable was there. And so there's DeX already on PC. Some of you guys, or most of you guys have probably seen DeX. Samsung DeX essentially, for those who haven't, is a uh, pretty much like another OS in your OS um, for your Samsung device. It makes it more PC layout where you're used to essentially a start menu to your top, or sorry, your bottom left. So if you press that, you get those things. Um, and then you can minimize out like that. You can hit your, uh, your recents right here. And then you can see all of my recents. I've been playing Pokemon Go, The Verge, and all these things like that. And then if I hit that, and then you can go back home, which brings you back to this screen here. Um, and then you got the back button, which when you're in something, you can go back. So let's say I want to go to, I don't know, let, let's say I'm going to open up, I'm going to open up YouTube. All right. So I open up YouTube and I have YouTube premium and I want to uh, go back home. So I'm going to first click on a video. Maybe I'll just click on first ring daily. And you probably heard that the audio was coming in to through the PC speakers and not through my Samsung uh, phone itself. And if I hit the home button, it minimizes it and puts me back on the desktop screen. So that's another way of essentially uh, Windows 11, how you can just press this bottom right corner and it says show desktop. If you do the same thing here, uh, only you do, you hit this home button like it is on Android, you can go back um, and then we can go into the settings if we have to. It says restart settings, it's already running. Because it's already running on my phone, I'll just hit restart settings and then I'll let it pop up and there you go. So you got restart settings. Um, and then let me see something. I'm gonna see if you can actually rotate the navigation. I don't believe you can. Let's go through. Let me see if I can search for it. And also, yes, your keyboard does work. So if I type in Navi and then I just say, uh, let's click on navigation. Let's see if it actually lets me do anything with navigation on DeX. It does not. But I guess while we're here, we can also look at the interface of the windowing on Samsung DeX. So you can notice there are a bunch of buttons up here. This is the pin button here. It's just pin window to top. So that way, anytime you open up anything else, um, it'll always stay on top. Uh, you see right there, it always stays on top no matter what happens if I pin it. 
Um, and then if I hit right here, you highlight over, it says opacity. So you can make things more transparent and stuff. That's kind of an interesting thing that Windows does not do and Mac does not do. Um, I don't know what the heavy points of it would be. I guess if you're just looking at messages or something like that, or you're trying to hide uh, scandalous messages, you can just quickly blur it out a little bit. Uh, but I'm going to keep that thing just like that. Then you got your minimize, you got your maximize, and you got your X, um, basically closing out the application altogether. So Samsung DeX works pretty well on PC, I got to say. It's... I don't know how much better it would be on like a on a like a monitor and not running in the software itself, um, but you can also obviously use Samsung Dex on um, just by simply plugging in a USB Type C cable um, to uh, HDMI. If you buy one of those, I bought one from Anchor A, -A, -A N K E R. I'll probably put the link in the description box that way you guys can take a look at that cable. It's not very cheap; it's like twenty bucks, but it gets the point across if you're trying to use Dex. Uh, but Samsung Dex overall is pretty good. You got the keyboard here, which if you click keyboard, it pops up your phone's keyboard. Uh, so that way, I guess, if you for some reason don't have access to your computer's keyboard, you can just type with your phone. Um, and then you got your volume toggle right here. It doesn't make the sounds like Windows does. If you click this right here, it does that usual Android thing where it allows you to adjust each uh, the, the volume mixer itself. Um, and then you got here, this is screenshot. So if I press this right here, you see it flashes the screen and it lets me adjust the screenshot and then I can pop this up. Um, I can resize just like that and I can do this and all that stuff. And then in the end, it lets you share it or download it to your phone. I'm not gonna do any of that just because uh, I don't care about this screenshot. And then you got your notifications, which I'm not actually gonna click on because I know I have uh, quite a bit of notifications. In fact, let me see if I can, let me see if I can wipe my notifications. Actually, you know, I think I might be good. So if I click notifications, you can see right here, um, this is uh what i was doing just previously before i even made this video i was these are things that are connected if i want to click away i can swipe away let's say if you have a touchscreen computer you can still do that um you can uh you see my galaxy watch 4 is fully charged because that's the same notifications that i always have on my thing so basically it's the same notifications you always get on your phone only they get projected to dex on your pc or whatever device you're using dex through um, and also you can set audio to not go through your computer and just go through your phone. I don't know why you do that, um, but I guess if you want to do that. Um, and then you got your podcast. So like I have a Stitcher on and I was listening to the Vergecast because it's Friday. I listen to it every Friday. So if I want to play the Vergecast, <laughs> I can literally listen to the Vergecast uh, through Samsung Dex on my PC. Um, all at once and then you got your usual battery life info you got your quick settings which is just similar to the windows 11 quick settings if you notice right here uh, quick settings quick settings just like that you see my carrier you can hit this button here go to settings for your quick settings you can set all the same things for it and then there's even dark and light mode um i, I guess it just changes it yep it changes it for the entire os in a way i kind of like samsung's light mode but i still like dark mode more so i'm just gonna click that and just put it away there we go. So it looks nice just like that. And then you got your date and time, uh, which pops up your date and time. You can pop up your calendar and this and that. So it's pretty straightforward and nice looking. And I'm also going to bump up the opacity. OK, there we go. So Dex, in a nutshell, is pretty amazing. Like it's if you just want if, if you're the person that truly and is tech savvy enough, and you truly just don't need you don't play games much and you just need like a PC type experience but you don't need a full pc and you just lug your phone around everywhere or even your tablet honestly dex is pretty dope uh you can even right click to screen zoom so if i click this um you can choose the screen zoom and then let's say i can bring text in bigger if i can't see very well um but i don't want to do that uh, if you right click again you can change your wallpaper so if i go to wallpaper you can change your dex wallpaper just like that um i can go to my wallpapers and i can say change to this wallpaper I can set to all of them. I'm not gonna change that just cause I don't really want it to change. And then if I go back, you can hit sort by, which sorts your icons that are currently on your dex, uh, desktop uh, to whatever you want, custom order, alphabetical order, whatever you choose. I like it alphabetical order, so that's how it's gonna be. Um, and then I guess final notes before I end this video is uh, I guess using YouTube as an example, you can go full screen. Uh, so this will be full screen YouTube. It's still the Android tablet kind of look. It still looks kind of funky because it's like projecting from a phone. YouTube, I don't think it's properly uh, done for phone uh, or for tablet ex experiences. Um, and then another thing that I wanted to show is let's see about the whole uh, side by side windowing. Can you snap 
groups and things like that side by side. I don't think I have even figured that part out yet, um, but I'm sure there is a way to snap things side by side. Let me see something. So if I go to this and then I go to YouTube and then let's see, is there a way to easily snap side by side? I'm sure someone's going to tell me this uh, once the video goes up. Oh, there to go. I see something happening. No, it's not happening. Just kidding. So, yeah, I can't figure out side by side, but um, all I know is I know there's a way to do it. I just can't think of it for the purpose of this video. But overall, Dex, I definitely, definitely like Samsung Dex. I don't use it as often as I should, um, but I definitely like it, especially if, say, I'm at school. Like, I'm in college again right now, getting another degree, and... Um, I can now simply just carry my wireless keyboard that I have, that video I did with the except travel accessories, carry that wireless keyboard, carry that mouse, right, that wireless mouse, connect them via Bluetooth, and carry just the cable and not even carry my laptop. And I can connect it to these monitors and displays that are in the campus and just start doing work. I can type out reports and everything with it. Uh, Microsoft Word and everything is on there. So yeah, that's about it. Just wanted to talk about Samsung Dex because he's just on my mind. Plus, I was watching Flossie Carter just like a second ago. So hope you guys enjoyed this video um, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.